Hi, Tom Walls, Carbide Processors. Been a hectic week. Here's part of the reason why. This is a saw blade that has been run long and hard. This black is an extremely heavy pitch build up on it. Uh, light, light, light. Sorry. There we go. Um, part of the reason there's such a heavy pitch build up is it ran a long time without any teeth in it. This is what I do when I analyze a saw blade. Okay. First, you have to clean it up. In this case, I used several applications of Easy Off. Um, I scrubbed it with a wire brush, a standard welding wire brush. And then I took a Dremel and just touched up the, touched up it here inside the notches because this is what I wanted to see. But I didn't want to affect it. I just wanted to get the black crud out of the notches. Here's what I found. And I think you're going to have to go to the blog to get it. But once I got them clean, the notches cleaned up, what I could see were a lot of horizontal lines running from side to side across the notches. These are from the laser cutting. And there's another video about cleaning laser cut saw blade, but once I got the notches clean and saw the lines across the distinct lines from the laser cutting, it was obvious that this had not been gummed out or had not been gummed out well enough. You need to gum about five to seven thousandths back. If you can see the lines, you didn't gum enough. The other thing, once I got it cleaned up, I can see here on the edges, the braze alloy is bulging out, has been bulged out the side. Okay, the reason for this, for the braze alloy bulging out, is when they seat the tip, when they're brazing, they have the saw blade typically laid like this for hand brazing. The tip is resting flat. They heat the whole assembly up, and then they, they push the tip in. You're not supposed to push it in. You just take a, you take your pointer, and you start with the tip in here, you take your pointer, when it comes up to temperature, you work the tip out to release the trap flux gases, and then you let the tip sort of suck back in. We have an absolutely great video, and I can say that in all modesty because all I did was pay to have it filmed, but in version one, Don Wallinger does a magnificent job of showing how to braise saw tips. In version two, the Hartleys show a much, much different technique for sawmills, but they also have zero tip loss. So two very different techniques, two very, very good people. But anyway, once I get it cleaned up, and I get the notch, and I can see the lines, and I get the braze, the bulges of braze alloy out here, then I know that two things happened. They didn't clean the notch properly in the gumming, and two, by clean and gumming, I mean grind it back enough. And two, when they seated the tip, they shoved it in too far. Um, so those are two things. If you shove it in too far, you shove the braze alloy out the side. And I think the big reason for the loss is, is the bad gumming. Also, you can see by the amount of wear on the braze alloy on the sides, this was run quite a while, and there's a huge amount of pitch buildup. Well, I, I clean that one. There is, but on these that haven't been cleaned, there's a huge amount of the black pitch and crud buildup inside the saw blade. So that's typically what I look for in this kind of a situation um, with a saw blade. And that's it. Any questions or anything else, feel free to call me. I... I charge for saw blade analysis sometimes if you're a customer, I think you might be or whatever. Uh, we certainly don't charge to help customers. So thank you. Bye.